Welcome, and thanks for tuning in to the Lil Wheezy Tying Tutorial. This little cone-headed streamer, like the New Orleans-based rapper it's named after, is slight in stature, but swings well above its weight class. We're going to tie this using 140 Vivas Power Thread, a quarter-inch brass cone, size 4 heavy wire, 60-degree jig hook, UV Polar Chenille, Fish Hunter Marabou, and UV Red Ice Dub. We've already created our tail pieces, so if you haven't checked our videos out on those, please do, and that'll get you to this point. We're gonna start by inserting our hook into the vise, and once we've attached our thread, we're gonna do a tiny little thread bump towards the back right at the bend of the hook, and that is going to kick our tail piece upward a little bit and away from the hook point to prevent fouling. Now I'm gonna string up my tail piece here um, on about an inch and a half section of wire, and thread one bead on there and attach to the top or the what's going to be the belly of the fly. This is all going to um, play into our proper profile and make sure the fly swims properly by having the weight and all the mass of the fly on the shank of the hook, um, which combined with the tension of your line is gonna allow it to swim hook point up. Next, I am going to put a little clump of red ice dub in there and that's gonna get us our little middle section skirt of marabou. Um, to give us the proper bulk of the fly. And I'm gonna clean up this marabou feather by removing all the junky stuff affected by dye and other things and start by trimming out a little clump here. And when you trim it, make sure to trim it so the tips are even. And I'm just gonna clear a spot and set that first little clump aside. And I'm gonna do the same thing and don't sneeze or any sort of weird heavy breathing. Try to avoid that at this point. I'm gonna drop that next little clump right on top and pinch the whole thing. And I'm gonna eye it up here, and I want these tips to go right back to about the middle of the UV polar chenille on the tailpiece. Now trim these buds pretty close, and you're gonna use your pointer and your thumb on your vice hand to roll wrap those fibers into a 360 degree skirt around the section, around the middle section of the joint of the fly. Now if you don't trim those butts close, it won't roll wrap because they're gonna get intertangled and it's just gonna clump up on you. Um, once attached there, I'm going to prep my polar chenille. Let's say it's about four inch section here, and I'm going to trim that first inch down to keep any of those unruly fibers from messing with my middle skirt and allowing the fly to really be clean and fish properly um, without any weird tangling going on there. So once I've attached it, I'm going to move my thread forward and palmer uh, the polar chenille forward here. Now that cone is just going to bounce around here for a little while, um, but I am going to wrap that polar chenille up to where it would basically be under that cone and where it will be. And that's going to give us a little bulk under there eventually to where our cone is going to be adhered to. Now, a little thread neck there just to clean up your fibers in that. When you go to, this is where you want to pop your cone forward as if, you know, just to make sure everything's good. Um, it's going to resist a little bit, give it a nice pop. Part your polar chenille fibers and trim to length. I like to keep the top part short of that hook point so it's not getting too involved and blocking any hook gap there. You can leave your belly ones at um, your desired length and density. Um, next up is a little trickier. We're gonna prep this marabou feather here and we want plenty of fibers but what we don't want is that quill to be involved because this is gonna go on the top um, right up right through the point and bend of the hook. Now this is a little tricky. We're gonna get our points, but we're gonna tie them in pointed forward on the top of the hook. So you can see I've got the butts there and I've got them pinched nice and tight. I don't want them moving, I don't want them roll wrapping. Um, and I'm securing them with two wraps going forward and then pull them back and make some wraps over the top, securing them going back towards the point. Now I can, okay, now we're cooking. So we can pop our cone forward. It's starting to look like what we want it to. Um, get some nice wraps in there because you want a nice, thread base there and I'm going to add a decent sized clump, not much, of uh, UV red iced up here. And this is going to be the base where we attach our um, quarter inch molded eyes. So I'm going to tie that off and we're virtually done with the tying process of the fly here. Um, and now my cone's ready, I'm eyeing it out and I'm going to get ready with my eyes. Now I'm going to take glue and I'm going to essentially create two little eye sockets. And when you do this, you wanna make sure that you're attaching these eyes on the belly side and not blocking any hook gap. Um, so just keep that in mind. And starting with the side you first glued, you're gonna take your eye and you gotta, you're gonna drop it on that 
little spot where you put the glue and you're also going to, to nose it right underneath that cone head. Um, this can take a little bit of getting used to and maybe try it without the glue first. Um, do the same thing for the other side. And now you can kind of see that cone is gonna overlap over those eyes, keep them intact for as long as possible and um, really clean up the fly really nice. This fly casts so well, whether it's single hand or two hand, um, fresh or salt water. Now I'm gonna take a nice big drop of glue on the belly there and I'm gonna try to kind of get a little bit in there on that dubbing. And now I can pinch my eyes and push my comb back onto them. You can see I'm applying pressure there and give yourself a few seconds to allow that to really bond. Um, and get stuck together there. This remains pretty tough and you'll know you might lose an eye and it stays together pretty well. It might even rattle more if you do eventually jog that cone free. I'm gonna do one last little drop of glue right down the nose cone. Um, and this is, you know, virtually a bulletproof little fly. Um, something that is perfect for when fish are keying in on little scrappy minnows like dace, shiners, things like that. Tons of colors you can tie it in. Um, cast great, fish is awesome. And hope you enjoy. Thank you very much.